So if the Lord is calling you, don't quench the Holy Spirit. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will prompt you to, to give to somebody on the street. You know, some, some panhandler, you know. Some of us are afraid of panhandler. Some of us don't want to smell the panhandler. Some of us don't want to talk to the panhandler. We just go, okay, no thank you, no thank you, you know. But if the Holy Spirit, that is, the, if the Holy Spirit is prompting you, let it flow. Let it flow. I tell you this, I share with you many times with this experience. Sometimes when I respond, when I would respond to God in doing good works and charity, loving people I don't know, I would feel like there's just a fire around me, a revival just happening. Why is that? Is it the works? No, it's because I'm letting the Holy Spirit flow freely. And this morning, I encourage you, don't stifle the Holy Spirit. God may be using you to do some amazing thing that's beyond your wildest imagination. Don't stifle the Holy Spirit. You know, sometimes because of our fear, because of our flesh, because of whatever, that we stifle the Holy Spirit. We quench the Holy Spirit. And that's one of the reasons why the rivers are plugged inside and there's no flow. So I want to encourage you this morning. Make it a commitment. Say, Lord, whenever you speak to me, whenever you want to move through me, I will say, let it flow. I'm committed to allow your Holy Spirit to flow. Friends, when you allow the Holy Spirit to flow, God will begin to satisfy your yearning, satisfy your desire. The Bible says that the Lord is my shepherd. I will not want, I shall not want. In other words, your desire is not like the desire of the world anymore. Your desire is quite different. Your desire is, oh, something different that God had called you to. I don't know what it is. I'm not, relig- I'm not going to be religious about it. You know, say, oh, read the Bible, pray, whatever. But your desire, God will change. He will change your desire desire, and that He will fulfill that, and you will have so, such a content life. You're not going to compare with other people. You don't have the tendency now to compare to other people and feel sad about yourself. 